For this first abdominal exercise, we'll put our feet up on a wall and Liz will demonstrate the easier version of the exercise with bent knees. You place your feet on the wall, hips width apart, rest back on your elbows, pulling in your abdominal muscles and tilting your tailbone under to create an ab lock. This is really important concept in core fusion that you can breathe without moving your abdominals. Now take your hands to your outer thighs, roll your shoulders back, open your chin, look up towards your feet and breathe. You'll notice just being in this position, your back muscles are stretching while your abdominal muscles are contracting and that's why this position is orthopedic. I'm taking my hands off my legs right now and right away I can feel my abdominals working to hold me there. For those of you who do a lot of crunches, this is one crunch and you're holding the top of it. Notice as I raise my arms up, I'm increasing the intensity, hold back on to reset, roll my shoulders back, widen my elbows. If you need to pause, follow Liz and rest back on your forearms. And I'm tapping my fist now above my knees, keeping my body in the position. Those of you working a little easier, follow Liz's version as she stops and starts and holds on one hand at a time as necessary. What we're trying to do here is just increase the amount of time we can stay in the position. When I hold on, I reset, shoulders down, elbows wide, abdomen in. When you let go of your legs, you can pump with either one arm or both, depending on your level. Try to keep yourself going here. This is really intense and just holding yourself in position, you're getting tremendous strength in your abdominals. Pulling in tightly to hold yourself there. Keeping your chin open to avoid using your neck muscles. When you need, elbows wide, shoulders down. Just pumping the arms now by the hips, holding yourself in the position. Remember, the abdominal muscles are working in stillness. They're bracing the body and they're keeping you up off the floor.